Hallelujah, people of God. Good day, wherever you are watching. This is ACNN TV Midday Prayer Program. As you listen, wherever you are, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we are still looking at the theme, Build Up Yourself on Your Most Holy Faith. Jude, verse 20 to verse 21. I would like you to turn your Bible with me wherever you are, and let us look at the scripture the book Jude verse 20 and verse 21. Jude verse 20 and verse 21 says, But you, dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Spirit. Verse 21, keep yourself in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. This day we'll be looking at the topic, build up yourself. Hallelujah. Build up yourself. Hallelujah. That is what we'll be looking at this afternoon. Apostle Jude, in his letter to the church, was addressing the need to build up one's personal faith. To build up your personal faith. Not the faith of the church. Your personal faith. To build yourself. Hallelujah. And today's prayer target, we shall be considering the pronoun also your faith, yourself. Sorry, yourself. Yourself. Definition of terms. We're going to be looking at yourself. Yourself is a pronoun that is used to address somebody and then build up, like we said in the previous program, build up, that is to keep increasing on whatever you are doing on a daily basis. Hallelujah. We are not addressing the Christian of AD 60 to AD 80. When this scripture was written, we are addressing the Christians of today. You and I, our own generation, you are the people that God is bringing this word of God to this afternoon. Build up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. The self we are talking about, yourself, that we are considering this afternoon, that we should build up, that you should build up, is not the self that is born out of flesh. It's not the self that is born out of flesh. According to 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, there are flesh, that there are self that are born out of flesh, born out of loss, born out of boastful pride of life. That is not the self we are talking about building. That is not the self we are building in child of God. We are not building self for flesh. We are not building the self that is born out of Adamic nature. According to Genesis chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 3. Genesis chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 3. The Bible made us to understand that after God has created man in his image, man began to multiply and then Adam gave birth to Seth in the image of Adam. Hallelujah. Greet verse 3 again. You will see that very clearly. Adam gave birth to to set in the image of Adam, in the image of man, not further in the image of God. Now, that is not the self we are building. We are not building the self that is born out of Adamic nature. We are not building the self that is born out of sin. We are not building the self that is born out of the law. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 to verse 21. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 to verse 21. Not the self under the law. Not the self controlled by sinful nature. That is not the self we are building. That is not the self we are talking about the self that is that is controlled by sinful nature that is under the law we are not talking about that self we are talking about the self that is the direct image of god the self that is the direct image of God. Yourself, who is the direct image of God. We are talking about the self that is crucified with Christ. The self that is crucified with Christ. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. Again, we are talking about the self that is born of the Spirit of God. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. That is the self we are building people of God. It is the self that is born of God. That is born of the spirit of God. The self that lives by the spirit and that is led by the spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. The self that is lived by the spirit and is led by the spirit of God. So what does it imply as pilgrims, as people that is on a journey? What does it imply? Number one, we are charged to keep the fire burning. 
We are charged to keep the fire burning. Keep building yourself. Not building yesterday. Not building yesterday. And then you forget about the building. Keep building every day. We are charged to keep on building. Now that is still day. Now that you can still pray. Now that you can still fast. For night cometh the scripture says. When no man can walk. We are charged to keep building. Number two. Which self are you building? A question to consider. Which self are you building? Is it a broken self or a self that that will stand the test of time? Are you building a broken self? Are you building a self that is already shattered? Or the self that that will stand the test of time? Which self are you building? What are you building exactly? Is it your self-esteem you are building or you are building pride? Are you building your self-esteem or you are building pride? Both leads to either death and and glory both lead to either doom and glory if they are building on pride if you are building on pride it leads to doom because God resists the proud but if you are building your self esteem if you are building yourself on your most holy faith I bet you people of God the sky shall be your starting point how are you building another question to consider how are you building are you investing in love and prayer according to verse 21 are you investing in love are you investing in prayer are you investing in people's life how are you building your, yourself or you are investing in just you are investing in gluttony so many people invest in food food and food alone remember it was through food that we started this suffering from Genesis again the devil came to Jesus according to my 2 chapter 4 tempting him with food so what are you building how are you are you building your stomach for more increase are you building your capacity to eat are you building gluttony are you building for porn hello I'm saying something again some of us will build ourselves just to watch porn just to be misled to be carried away by the things of this world how are you building are you building on drunkenness are you building on immoral life are you building on yourself to 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 to, to go on and waste yourself on the things of this world the loss of the flesh the mundane things of this life how are you building church how are you building yourself it's a call for us to watch on how we are building and then finally on this point why are you building are you building for the now or you are building for the future why are you building is it because of what you will consider now just now and consume it now upon yourself or you are building for the future are you building for the future or you are building for the now the bible says if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small if thou faint in the days of adversity your strength is small proverb 24 verse 10 i want to let you know hard times are yet to come persecution is yet to come. Church, hard times are yet to come. Persecution is yet to come. So if you are building your strength just for now, if you are building just for today, excuse me, time will come that your strength will no longer help you. I want to address you people of God to keep on building because there are greater things ahead of us. Build for the future. Build for the time to come. The prayer you are praying now is being stored up in a bank because a time will come where you will be in need of it. Keep on building on your most holy faith. Hallelujah. So what are we concluding on this afternoon? Yes, we lost it at first. Genesis chapter 3. We lost it at first when we failed. But through the redemption blood of Christ, we are restored. Hallelujah. According to Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. Through the redemptive blood of Jesus, we are restored. I don't know where you are right now. Maybe you are already condemning yourself and say, Oh, I have lost it. I have lost it all. I am no longer worthy to receive forgiveness. Through the blood of Jesus, we receive redemption. It doesn't matter where you are, what you've done, what happened been committed. I want to let you know people of God, there is redemption package for you. There is redemption through the blood of Jesus. I don't know how you've missed it before, but by the blood of Jesus, you can still be restored. You can still be restored. If you still if you are still battling with your old self, surrender now and Jesus will create in you a new you. 
According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. I take it again. If you are still battling with your old self, repent now, surrender to Jesus, and he will give you a new you. He will create in you a new you. He will put in you a new spirit. If you are still battling with your old self, I don't know the self, the addiction you are battling with right now, but I want to let you know Jesus can still give you a new you. For he says, anyone in Christ Jesus is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things shall become new. You can still have a new you, you can still have a new you. You can still have, forget whatever you have done. Jesus, through his blood, can save you. Hallelujah. And then we're going to be praying shortly. I'd like you to be in the mood of prayer as we look up to heaven for this new me. I don't know if you're that person, you'll say, oh, I, can I still receive forgiveness of sin? I'd like you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'd like you to pray with me right now. If you are still, maybe you, you, you are still uh, having guilt in your mind. Oh, can Christ still forgive me? Can this new me still manifest? Like I said, Christ can give you a new you. Can you pray this prayer with me wherever you are? Can you pray with me? Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender to you today. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I surrender my old self. I surrender whatever I have done. Create in me a new me. Create in me a clean heart. Purify me, O oh God, that I may worship you. Take not your spirit from me and restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Renew your right spirit within me. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Congratulations. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Right now, I'd like you to join me as we pray. This afternoon, we are trusting God for revival. The revival of the church of God. Can you lift your voice and worship him? Worship the King of kings. Worship the Lord of lords. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Be thou exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Most High. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're going to pray a prayer of surrender again. It's not a prayer. I'm not trying to make a repetition, but just to follow on on what we are doing this afternoon. Say with me, create in me a new me, Lord. I surrender my brokenness. I surrender my pride. I surrender my loss. In the name of Jesus, I surrender all my brokenness. I surrender my weakness. In the name of Jesus, can you pray with me again? Say, Father, let the old self be crucified. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest and say, Lord, let my old self be crucified. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can you pray with me? Say, Father, I make demands for the old for the for the oil of restoration in the name of Jesus. I make demand for the oil of restoration. Rekindle me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Rekindle my fellowship with you. Rekindle my love for you. Rekindle my passion for you. Let there be a rekindling in the name of Jesus. Can you make a demand for the oil of restoration in the name of Jesus? Wherever you are, begin to pray. Say, Father, I make demands for fresh oil. I make demands for the oil of restoration. Let that be koinonia in the name of Jesus. I make demands for the oil of restoration. A garment of fire be released upon me in the name of Jesus. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? Let the oil of restoration, wherever I have fallen, I am coming back to the cross in the name of Jesus. The prodigal son said, I will go back to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and I have sinned against you. Can you take me back again? As your servant and not the son. And at that moment, he was restored. Can you pray, Lord, I come again in the order of the prodigal son. Let there be restoration in my fellowship with you. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're going to pray with me. Say, Father, I disassociate myself from every gathering of vultures in the name of Jesus. What do we mean? From every gathering of vultures. Vultures us only eat dead bodies. There are some of us, the people we associate with, they are vultures. They only they take interest on mistakes of people. They gossip a lot. They gather to do all manner of atrocities. Can you pray that prayer right now? Say, Father, I disassociate myself. Evil communication, the Bible says, corrupt good manners. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate myself from every gathering of vultures, from every gathering of evil company. I 
I disassociate myself in the name of Jesus. I come out of their midst in the name of Jesus. I disengage myself from all of their activities in the name of Jesus. I disengage myself from every activities that does not give God glory. If you are there watching me right now, you are the kind that used to party at night. This prayer is for you. Can you pray sincerely from your heart? Lord, I disassociate myself from every company of ungodly men, from every company of those who does not give you glory. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate myself. Isaiah said when he encountered the king of kings in Isaiah chapter 6, the Bible says, and he cried, oh, I am undone, for I am a man of unclean lips, for I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate myself from the midst of the people of unclean lips. I disassociate myself in the name of Jesus. I come out of their midst in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We are, again, we are going to pray. Every gathering of vultures plotting against my destiny. Every gathering of vultures, every gathering of vultures, a kapala da bayada, plotting against my destiny. What are you waiting for? Scatter by fire. Letekete paladaya, e para kamanda letaya, letokoto pa jadaya. Can you lift your voice and pray? Let their gathering scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are gathering against your destiny, against your marriage, against your life, we command them to scatter every gathering of vultures in your office where you walk, against your work, against your, your destiny, against your work done in the name of the Lord. I, and there is a church the Lord is showing me right now. Kingdoms are meeting there at night to wage war against the growth of the church. Every gathering of vultures occultic men in the church of God, we command fire to scatter them right now. The scripture says, in one way they shall gather, but in several ways they shall scatter. We command that this means in the name of Jesus scatter by fire scatter by fire lataba shadabaya leke perada baladaya iman kalada baladaya eke paratosha every gathering of evil men every gathering of vultures against the growth of the church of God in Nigeria against the growth of Christians in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we command your end right now. We command your end right now. Lift your voice and pray, beloved. Let their end come suddenly. Let their end come suddenly. We declare the judgment of God upon them. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus? Let their end meet them now. Let their end meet them now. Their office are not a fake. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray again. Every evil verdict that is passed over my life, every evil verdict passed over my generation, Every the Bible says, Who is he that said the thing and it shall come to pass? When the Lord commanded it not, whatever verdict, whatever decree that is passed over my life, over my generation, that is passed over the church of God, that is passed over Nigeria, every decree, every evil decree be nullified in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray right now? Let every evil decree, let every evil verdict that is passed over my life, over my generation. Oh, there is a woman I'm watching right now that is watching right now. You are pregnant wherever you are and the, 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 you, you, you still have this casualty. You still have a lot of casualty and you are filled with fear. You don't know, you don't know what is going to become of. You have se several dreams of having attacks in the dream. Consigning that same pregnancy. You dream where you have miscarriage. You dream where you are rushing to the hospital. I pray for you right now. Every evil verdict upon your pregnancy. Every evil verdict, every evil decree upon the baby in your womb, I command them to be nullified 
In the name of Jesus, lose your hold. Lika parada baladaya, maraten kebalagaya, ikam paladosha. Lose your hold, you forces of darkness. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody watching right now. You have injury in your leg, and the injury is not responding to to medicine. It's not responding. In the name of Jesus, every evil verdict upon that injury, every evil decree that is passed day or night against the healing of your leg, right now be arrested, be nullified by fire. You receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Can you place your hand upon your knees close to the injury? The healing power of God is coming upon you right now. Be healed, child of God. Be healed, child of God. Whatever that is said over that leg, I reverse them right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the reverser. Who is he that saith it in? And it shall come to pass. When the Lord God commanded it not, there is no enchantment against Israel. There is no divination against Jacob. I reverse them right now. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody the Lord is showing me right now on a stretcher. You are on a sick bed. In the realm of the spirit, they have already passed a decree that you are going to die in that affliction. That you will die in that sickness. But right now, I come in the name of the Lord. For blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. I prophesy. You are rising from that grave. You are rising from that stretcher. Receive the healing power of God. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out from that affliction. Come out from that bed. You are rising right now. We reverse the verdict of death. We reverse the decree of death. By the power of the resurrection. In the name of Jesus. I command. You are coming out. In the name of Jesus. Be healed child of God. In Jesus name we pray. We are going to pray again. Every evil stranger in my life, every stranger in my life assigned from the kingdom of darkness, every stranger in my life, when we talk about strangers in our life, we are talking about marine forces, we are talking about spirit husband and spirit wife. A time came in the ministry of Jesus when he addressed an issue and he asked a question, who are you? And the demon responded, we are legions, we are many here. I don't know, every evil stranger stranger. It could be legions of strangers in your life that is resisting you from fulfilling your destiny, your marital destiny. You keep experiencing promise and fail. You keep experiencing close to engagement, close to, 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 to fulfillment of destiny, close to your wedding and then there will be failure as a result of evil strangers. You have sex in the dream and when you wake up in the day, the whole plan is as is scattered. I address that situation right now. Every evil stranger, marine husband, evil spirit, living inside your body, spirit wife and spirit husband, your time is up. Right now I command you, you are living now. Can you place your hand on your head and say you evil stranger, you are living now. Your time is up. You are living now in the name of Jesus. I command you, come out of my life by fire. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Pray aggressively. It's coming out. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. I command, lose your hold. You evil stranger, lose your hold. Your tenor is over in the name of Jesus. Your tenor is over in the name of Jesus. Your tenor is over. It's over right now in Jesus' name. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost as the power of God is upon you? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to pray. Peace be still. Every storm raging in your life. Receive the peace of God. Receive the peace of God. Can you pray that prayer in the name of Jesus? Every storm raging in my life. Right now, receive the peace of God. Jesus said, my peace I give to you, such as no man can give and no man can take. The peace that passes all understanding. Right now, receive the peace of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I prophesy a new dawn for you, a new beginning. Yes, the scripture says, anyone in Christ Jesus is a new creature. 
Old things are passed away. That your old self, that your Adamic nature, they are passed away. That addiction that is holding you bound, they are passed away. I prophesy a new dawn for you, a new beginning for you, a new beginning for you. There is a family watching right now, a new beginning for you from financial stagnation. There is a new beginning. You are coming out of that financial stagnation in the name of Jesus. A new dawn, a new dawn. Let the heavens be open upon every family watching right now for a new beginning, for a new dawn in the name of Jesus. I prophesy as the servant of Yeshua Mashiach, a new dawn for Nigeria, a new beginning. Let there be a new wave, a new wave of power, a new wave of the spirit, a new wave of revival. A new wave of power over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Adonai. We worship you wherever you are. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give him glory. Give him honor. Worship him. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, viewers, for watching. Thank you, beloved. The Lord bless you. Till I come your way next time, remain blessed. Call it for the week. Trinity 7. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of his grace that we may bring forth the fruits of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you.